coming out of school, the main tours that you went on were maybe to Pretoria, PE. But the thought of going to another country with a rugby side is very exciting and I'm um, looking forward to it immensely. This man's retaining his World Cup right here. Hey, no. <laughs> this man's won this thing. Two times. <laughs> The thing I'm looking forward to the most is just being in an international place with all my friends from here and just getting new experiences. I would like everybody to be able to have the time of their life. I don't know too much about Tokyo, so I like to do all the touristy things around, certain temples around, be very interested in seeing the, the different types of architecture that in Japan. Definitely going to utilize my time in Japan well. Always nice to go experience a new culture, try different things, and make memories with mates. I would just like to be in Tokyo because it's just such a modern city, so advanced. I'd love to see what their kind of standard of living is like. Show us, boy. Yes, high revs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, Damo! Chance, this is Ron Billet reporting live from Meiji Wasuda where we're about to face the New Zealand hacker. The Oaks are amped, the Oaks are firing, we're ready to go. Come on, Aikis! <laughs> on the field, there was a really good, high quality rugby. Yeah, I think when you're defending champs and automatically when you aside from South Africa, you've got a bit of a target on your back. New Zealand University side, obviously a big rivalry. I think because it's quite a physical, demanding game and you've got to kind of do things to people that we're not allowed to do in civilised society. So I think the fact that you can go do that on the field and then walk off the field and then chat with them afterwards, have a beer, is, is something special and unique. I think the big thing about rugby is that it doesn't discriminate. There's no place for that in, in, in rugby, whatever like life decisions you make. So in terms of like bringing like cultures together, it's like Nelson Mandela said it like, sports got the power to change the world. Tell us how your day, the, the community service there was for you, boy. Uh, tug of war went well. Great to watch. It was never about the kids though. <laughs> One no use of uh, That's great. You know, growing up in Bloemfontein, um, now experiencing all these cultures, they, they have something unique and in a team sport they can actually express themselves in that. It was a massive experience. A lot of guys had so much fun and such a pleasure to win it at the end. Show. Sure.